Welcome, Taurus. Yes. Welcome to the second quarter, April, May, June. Okay, let's see what's coming out for you, Taurus. Is adjust position, um, adjacent um, possibility. There's a whole lot of possibility that is coming up. Number six, use number six as your energy vibration in this quarter. A whole lot of adjustment of position is coming up. Okay, so use number six in this quarter all right okay a lot of possibilities now i have to shuffle your cards okay you gotta shuffle your cards um tauruses tauruses sun moon and rising sun pure light beams oopsie daisy okay all right, so in the month of May, um, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever is happening and transpiring in the Squirtle Tauruses, the Wheel of Fortune has been coming up. There is no question about this. It is the energy. Go and look at your general reading, Tauruses. Um, the general reading will also show the Wheel of Fortune coming up. I think it's in the same position um, also. So some sort of an issue and problem from the past is coming back in the month of um, uh, April. Okay, so let's uh, see what's coming up. Um, and this is a loose deck because uh, my cards. Let's try. Ooh, let's see what's coming up for the Tauruses. Taurus is in the portal. Taurus and the horizon sign. So in April, we have the Wheel of Fortune and a whole lot of information from the past is coming out. Data and information um, that is going to be coming in. Uh, um, and this is like data. Um, this is uh, um, documents, information. And April is going to be running like it's, it's going out of a proportion. Okay. Um, the heartbreaks is going to be over Tauruses, whatever that was happening, whatever that was transpiring. There was a lot of heartbreaks. A lot of heartbreaks was happening and transpiring. The heartbreaks is going to be over. So thank God for that. So it's as if uh, some sort of an information data is going to be coming out. A whole lot of information that is going to be um, happening and transpiring. The Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands, a whole lot of um, data and information from the past. Um, we see the heartbreaks is in the reversal. So that is good for you guys. But a lot of information data is coming back from the past. And this could have been information that was old from you. So let's say um, that they stole your mail. They stole your post. They block your email. That is coming in. A tower moment is coming um, in the month of May. May, a tower moment is here. This is like unexpected sun events that is going to be coming up in May, Taurus is, followed by um, some sort of a contract, some sort of a relationship problems, followed by an end to some sort of a contract and relationship that you have is going to be coming to an end in May. So an unexpected sudden, sudden break, sudden break, just unexpected Taurus is a sudden break is going to be coming in where the end of contracts, end of relationships is going to be coming up for you guys. So you got to be aware because a end is coming in. So if you were having some sort of a um, horrible relationship problems in your marriage, problems with um, 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 a relationship, um, this person is going to be communicating something that this person is going to be communicating. It's going to make you decide, I no longer want to work on this marriage, this relationship. I'm letting it go. So this is why we have the energy of possibilities coming up for you in this quarter. Because whoever you're dealing with, um, this is more like a relationship 
that a lot of you are dealing with an inevitable ending is coming in because of data and information that is going to be coming at you. You're going to be deciding to end it, okay? Then we see the, man, the, man, the, the magician in the month of June. So June is going to be um, your best month. The energy of the magician is that something that was kept from you from the in the past needed to um, come out and re -etch. And you're going to be receiving this information. So I see with this information that is coming in, um, you are thinking not to um, move forward with this information that is coming in. You're going to be thinking, no, I'm not moving forward. I'm not changing anything. It is good. And it has something to do with your project. Something to do with your project, your business, something that you are working on with someone else. Um, this is about some sort of a work and collaboration that you were in. Um, in the month of June, you're going to be deciding not to move further and not to co um, complete a project and bring an end to a project because you recognize that there was some sort of an unsavorable situation that was transpiring and you decide um, to bring a project to an end. Okay, so we see the energy of uh, the magician. Um, so something from the past that a lot of you were not aware of is going to be coming out. And with this information, it is going to be bringing some sort of an inevitable ending. Okay. So data information came out and all of a sudden a tower moment came down. All of a sudden a tower moment came down. Uh, whatever that, um, whatever data and information from the past that came out, a huge, huge tower moment came down, ladies and gentlemen. And this has uh, um, make a career a rippling change, a rippling change in some sort of a situation that was transpiring because of the data and information that came out uh, um, um, from the past. Now, a lot of you are dealing with the energy of the two of cups and the two of cups is about offer of love offer of uh, information offer of data offer of people trying um to help you um tauruses in whatever way that they can and whatever is transpiring there is some sort of a changes that is coming in because of the information that is going to be coming out in the month of April, okay? And some sort of an information is going to be coming out, okay? So, it is, um, whatever the, the information is that came out, a tower moment is here. And a lot of you are going to be leaving something behind because you're seeing a better future ahead of you, okay? Um, it could be a relationship, uh, it could be um, a work contract, but this is more in a center round. Um, it can be a relationship, but it can be work. Okay. And a lot of you, um, if you had some sort of a contract that you signed in the past with work, I see you're letting go of this and ending this contract. You're not going to be heartbroken. You're going to be thinking, okay, fine. I am not worried. Fine. It's good. No problem. It's, it's good. It's okay. Um, um, and because you let go of this thing, um, you let go of this thing that is going to be bringing you back. It's as if it's a job, a relationship that you're working on, a project, a business, networking, and... Uh, uh, it's as if you got information over your partner, you got information over your wife, your husband, the relationship, and that relation, that information, the wheel of fortune comes in and a magician is saying, let it go, let it go. You have done enough work on this, let it go. Um, there is a better future ahead, let it go. So I see that a lot of you are going to be thinking about working on your marriage or your relationship. Some of you are going to be thinking it is time to let it go. So in April, some sort of an information is going to be coming in, but um, this information is going to be good. Um, it's as if it smoothens your heart because of something that was happening and transpiring. Um, I see a love 
from the past is going to be coming back to you. Um, someone you care about um, in the past is going to be coming back to you and you guys are going to be working on this relationship. Then we see in the month of uh, May with this tower moment is because some sort of information that came out in April bring a tower moment in May and it's going to be giving you some sort of a new start moving forward and that is going to be good. And I see um, marriage's relationship could be ending in the month of May. Unexpectedly, um, just out of the blue, marriages and relationship is going to be ending, okay? Um, and that's in May. Um, then we see it could be also that some of you could be um, fired on the spot in May. So that is a possibility. In June, you have the energy of the magician. And the energy of the magician is as if, if you were heartbroken in the past, someone is going to be returning. This could be a soulmate. It's as if your universe recognized that it is time for you to connect with your soulmate or twin flame. And that is going to be ending the heartbreaks that you were going through. So this is very good. The magician is saying, manifest what you want and how you want to move in the future with your business and your project because it is going to be good. Whatever you're creating for yourself, um, manifest how you want to see yourself moving out in the future because it's going to be good. Whatever you decide to do for yourself, whatever you decide to manage for yourself and looking out to go in the future in order to create financial uh, stability, it is going to be absolutely fab, 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 okay? So go for it. Let's look. Your center energy is duality, and duality is that you are dealing with some sort of an issue between you and another person, okay? So it can be you and your child, you and your mother, you and your family members. Whatever this duality is all about, it's all about you recognize that something has ended, you're letting go and you're moving forward. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Number three plays a significant role. And number three in the reverse, there's no more art breaks, okay? It's about you recognizing why am I heartbroken about this? It, it is what it is. There's no reason for me to be heartbroken. And the three of ones is that you have already accomplished something and it's time to move on and look for a better future. Um, it could be information that is coming in um, where someone, an ex, is returning. And this is good. Now, when we look at, uh, so we have number three, and number three, and this is it. So go back and look at the general reading. The Empress is governing this quarter. Now, Tauruses, you are protected um, by the Empress. The Empress is your protection. The Empress is the mother heart. It is the mother of Venus. You are ruled by Venus. So, um, the energy of the Empress, when it comes on to love and your money and your materialistic, remember Taurus is you're in the second house. The second house is financial stability and money. And it's as if your guiding angel, the energy of the Empress is going to be coming in and is going to be working with you and whatever business um, you decide to set up for yourself or whatever that you want to create in your world for yourself. It is going to be happening. Um, once you, because you have everything, it's as if the magician is saying, listen, you have uh, everything you need to create your uh, reality and create wealth and abundance. You have everything you need. You have planted the seeds. They're going to be start growing because um, the energy of the empress is here helping um, you Taurus in this timeline. So uh, in the crowning is, uh, of your reading is, is, is a situation where information is coming out that is bringing some sort of a blocks, um, lifting some sort of a block in your life uh, and giving you a new start coming up in the future. In your foundation is that the same information is um, bringing an end to a situation and giving you a new start in the future. And this is going to be absolutely fab, fab, fab. Okay. 
All right, let's see the secrets on the discards. The secrets. What is the secret of the Wheel of Fortune? The Wheel of Fortune have to do with a house, a corporation, an institution. Um, something about a house, a corporation, institution. Something is coming back in order for it to be ill and an adjustment be made. So it could be a contract over a house, um, a business, uh, uh, something with some sort of a linen and so I, this is returning so that some adjustment can be made to it okay so some of you could be um, rebuilding on your house that sort of a thing um, or renovating your house in the month of April um, some risk was taken they're going to be recognizing that a lot of people had risk some sort of a situation and now they have been found out was it you that risk uh, um, and change some sort of a detailed documentation. Tauruses, they're going to be finding out that you Tauruses take a risk. So um, be aware of that. Um, a lot of you uh, Taurus took a risk and took data from someone. They're going to be recognizing a whole lot of money that um, was either um, a stock, money market, um, trust, Money that was placed in a trust, money that should have been come out, Tauruses, they are going to be recognizing this. I see you're no longer going to be heartbroken. In May, the Tower Energy brings changes, bring changes, unexpected sudden changes. Let's see if these changes, is changes in a home relocation is going to be coming up in May. And um, some sort of a... Um, a tides line so this could be um a situation where they're going to be looking at a contract with some sort of a timeline and that sort of a thing and recognizing that there was some sort of a foul play with a contract um with a house or with a business or with a bank financial institution stocks that sort of a situation um timeline of two people um coming together that sort of a thing details 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 something is happening where a lot of uh, a situation with details they're looking at details timeline details they're going back and looking at some sort of a details and i see um they're going to be ending something that is coming up because they're looking going back and looking at the details of uh, um some sort of a contract and is recognizing um that there was uh, information that was not given to you taurus or information that you taurus is at all or information that you taurus is at access um when you were not supposed to access this data and information and they're going to be recognizing that you taurus is were the one that access it secrets the secrets are coming out tauruses in the month of june the magician is going to be bringing out the secrets some sort of a secrecy that was held was it by you um tauruses or was it by someone else the secrets is going to be coming out okay there is um no question about it some sort of a secret that was held is now going to be coming out so then we see uncertainty for the future for a lot of you tauruses um, uncertainty for the future with you and um, your relationship, um, whatever is transpiring, uncertainty for you, Tauruses, uh, for the future. Changes is coming in, but it's going to bring uncertainty. An end is going to be coming in um, to um, um, some sort of a project that you were working on. Um, um, some changes some unexpected changes okay and they're looking um tauruses on money money that you had received from some sort of a contract and secret deal is going to be coming out okay so in the month of june um some sort of a secret is going to be re released and um you taurus was worried you took a risk on a relationship or you took a risk or you have changed some sort of a data and took some sort of a risk and um, some sort of a uncertainty was there for you, Tauruses. Then we see the energy of the heartbreaks. Um, um, you were heartbroken before you come into um, April 
about a whole lot of money and they're looking at the details and I see that they're going to be ending up something they're they're really taking a deep look at the details timelines and details change shift timelines and details relationship okay and they're going to be recognizing that there is a, some sort of a um timelines and details for you Tauruses that doesn't um that doesn't really um mm. It says if it doesn't really shows up, they're they're recognizing that you Tauruses have timeline and details that is not is not connected. Something is happening, okay. And um, timeline timelines with some sort of a contract. So be aware of this. So we're looking at. Uh, a house, a corporation, institution, or your business. And there are some sort of a details, uh, some sort of a documentation, because this is about documentation. And you took a risk um, using that data, and now um, the art breaks is over. And I see you could have sell and change information. You have been selling data and information. This is an espionage thing that some of you, where data and information was changed or access. And they're going to be recognized as Taurus and recognize that it came from your company, your office, your computer. Yeah. And they're going to look at the timeline and the details and they're going to be shutting it down. They're going to be shutting it down. Okay. So it's as if you Tauruses was uh, investigating something and you had no right to be on someone's computer uh, someone, you had no right to be investigating the person. You had no right to um, connect and access that person information and data. And they're going to be looking back because they're going back and looking at something. And it's going to be recognized in the timeline when you did that, Tauruses. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the timeline when you did this. And this tower moment is bringing some sort of a changes in order to give a lot of you Tauruses some sort of a new start in the future. I see secrets. It's as if you Tauruses have created some sort of a secrecy. It is going to be out. Now... As I said, a lot of you could be losing your jobs or could be fired from your jobs or a project that some of you were working on is just going to be ending abruptly, really abruptly. So what is your best week? Wow. The first April is well, your best month is going to be April. Your best month is going to be April. The tower is coming in to bring changes with some sort of a contract relationship, ending some sort of a contract that some of you Tauruses had created. Um, you have number three, number three, and it's about communication. Um, it's about moving forward. Six is, is, is coming up, but six is about money. So let's see, um, you have the four and a house, some sort of a date about a house. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, some sort of a, it's as if some of you Tauruses were paid to get some sort of information and data. Um, it's going to be coming out. So be aware of this. Secrecy. But this is definitely a, a love relationship. Someone from the past. Um, 
some of you Taurus could be skipping timelines or changing out uh, your um your counterpart some of you Taurus is, is definitely going to be skipping timelines skipping dimension changing out your counterpart with another counterpart so that a, re a resolution can come in because you have me um more counterparts okay um we live in duality ladies and gentlemen and this is definitely coming up where the time okay this is about dimensional shift it's about timelines and dimensional shift and a lot of you tauruses is going to be timeline and dimensional shift in order to reconnect with a soulmate or a twin flame okay some sort of a timeline a dimensional shift is going to be happening um with um yes so that you're going to be changing out with your counterpart in order to resolve or reconnect with someone a soulmate a twin flame it is a powerful portal for you tauruses and get all you can out of this uh, um quarters april may and june because it's going to be cyclical april is going to be your best month tauruses you took a risk you took a risk taurus and a lot of money is going to be coming into you but make sure that this risk that you take with all of this money coming into you it is for a good reason okay because it could affect you somewhere down the line Whatever secrets that was old is going to be coming out in June. And that is going to be either ending your business or either ending some sort of a project you were working with. And I got to tell you guys this because this is a serious situation that is transpiring. Because you have a time in, a timeline shift. And whenever people have timeline shift, it's it's um as as as, as if your spirit guide and this this quarter is is governed by the um the empress um only the empress and she is basically your mother and guided angel and you are um from uh, guided by venus and this is a timeline shifts in order for you to reconnect with um soulmate and twin flame is going to be coming up for a lot of you taurus so i i can understand the adjustment that came up for you taurus this is really a clear reading and a clear message mm. relocation with um, ha um business or houses could be coming up for you tauruses um data and information from a couple a partner or a contract that was created they're going to be looking at the timeline when this contract was created heartbreaks that was there over money money is going to be returning they're looking and they're ending they have looked at the details the details of a situation they really went back and look at the details of a situation in the past and ending whatever that was happening okay and this ending with some sort of a business project some of you could be a relationship could be ending um some of you a house a contract that some of you taurus had created is going to be ending because they recognize that the timeline you create this contract and all of what was going on um you tauruses have done something that was not supposed to be done so wow tauruses this is heavy um eight 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 write these numbers down tauruses you have three you have eight Mm, another eight uh, eight three times eight money is going to be here four times eight uh, money is definitely going to be here there's a lot of infinity infinity situation that you're going is infinity energies okay so we have eight in the first week eight is about fastness um data documentation everything is going to be fast in the month of april um, and but is a risk that some of you um, Tauruses is taking with some sort of a data documentation. 
you have eight where the tower came down um, and that is uh, 60 which is seven it has to keep, come down in order to create changes infinity changes then you have the timestamp which is six so, um, so an ending is definitely coming in where a lot of you are going to be changing your counterpart uh, eight comes up again with some sort of a details information in the past that is going to be coming to an end they're looking at data documentation that is going to be coming to an end another eight and um, in the month of may there's significant change that is coming up but this infinity it needs to happen it need it needs to happen then let's look at um june uh, another eight with a magician so you're going to be manifesting some sort of a um um your your um guided angel is going to be working with you in order to help you create infinity abundance for yourself three six uncertainty um they're looking at timeline and looking at the uncertainty of timelines that was happening and then ten I end. I end is coming in to a house, an organization, an institution. I end is coming in. This is very powerful, um, Tauruses. I do love you guys. Gotta go. Um, an ex is coming back or someone from a past life. A lot of you are going to be changing out your counterparts in order to finish your work. Um, come back and listen to this every month. Um, because this is a significant um, portal for you guys. I do love you. Namaste.